Well, hello again and welcome, welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about our stimulus checks in the U.S. versus to other countries. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Liz Soria. I am a tax accountant and also a business advisor. So let's go ahead and now waste time. We're going to go right in and jump in um, to make it comparable because um, what's really kind of like really surprising is that I already have heard about this, uh, but finally I was able to find something that really shows um, what's going on. And I just, to me, it's like, wow, really? Um, you know, the U.S. has only given American people so far only $1,200, right? And it's been a couple months now, and we're still waiting around uh, while, you know, Congress decided to go and a uh, recess for, what, two months? Uh, yeah, I call that going on vacation and paid vacation. But meantime, you know, all of us have been waiting around to get that extra stimulus check. And again, in some of my other previous videos, if you want to look at, I mentioned a lot where I do, I'm very supportive to the people out there because, well, one, I, you know, I was born in this country. And two, I do know what's going on. I have friends. I have people around me that I can see neighbors, they're going through, you know, such a struggle. Uh, but yet it's like the government is just sitting back there, you know, I don't know, waiting for, you know, I guess, like I said in the last video, they're probably waiting for, you know, election. <laughs> and then uh, hopefully they can throw the good bomb and see who's going to get the credit. In the meantime, all of you are winning out there. And that's just wrong. Okay, it's just wrong, folks. Um, so anyhow, I wanted to make this comparable because I want you to, to hopefully um, have the, the vision of what's really happening because while I, you know, I think that the United States is a phenomenal country and it has so many opportunities, but there's something that they fail and I don't like when there's this kind of competition of who who's going to give more, you know, it's just, it's, it's wrong. It's just completely wrong. But anyhow, um, so let's jump in. I'm going to share the screen, but I'm going to say exactly the percentage and the dollars amount, uh, yeah, in dollars and convert it to dollars to what other countries in Europe and even in Asia, they give it to their citizens, their people, without making them wait for, what, five months that we've been waiting around to get a second stimulus check and all we hear is excuses. And if you haven't seen my most recent video, the other one I was talking about, the $300 billion that has been sitting in this fund account uh, because President Trump is saying, well, I need to get approval from Congress really. Um, anyhow, uh, it's ridiculous, folks. But anyhow, let me go ahead and, and, and share. And I'm going to go ahead also and uh, in the meantime, tell you exactly because I mean, to me, this is really uh, unbelievable. I, I just don't, don't get it. Um, why they're waiting so much around. And I think it's just completely um, wrong. You know, and um, I have um, a right for my speech and my freedom of speech, as to say. <laughs> so, anyhow, so here's a comparable. Uh, I mean, it's just shocking. Here you go. So we have comparable to other countries list or especially right now with Europe. Um, we have UK, United Kingdom. It's actually providing. Are you ready for this? Wow, eighty percent of workers gross salaries. That's why you only want, right? 80%. Okay. So you know what, if this is how much you made, you could still make no matter what 80%. All right. And, and they just did that across every single person who was working in, in, in UK. Um, so it's a lot of money. Okay. Nothing compared to what we'd be getting. I mean, here in the States, it's based on a fixed amount of dollars. So if you were making more money than someone else down the block, then it didn't matter. You know, you have the same flat rate that you're going to get paid for. I think that's unreasonable. I think it should be based on your gross income, right? And what you have made in your previous salary. So anyhow, UK, I repeat myself, 80% of workers' salaries are being covered by the country. That's right. So let's jump to the next one, Denmark. Denmark is 75%. That's right, 75% they are doing the same thing. Okay, it's based on your gross income. All right, so that's the worker's salary. Let's go for another one, which, you know, really throws me off. South Korea, come on, South Korea is not a big country, all right, folks? And they're giving 70%? Seven zero? What? 
70% of workers salary. Okay, what else do we have here on the list? Netherlands, I mean, Netherlands are getting 90%, 90%, you heard that right, okay, to their citizens right there. And then on top of that, which really, it's like, really, this is true? Now that's only what we consider here on employment is what I had just mentioned between the 70% all the way to 80%. Now, what about people for their stimulus payment? Well, as you know, so far the United States has only given $1,200. Yes, if you were a freelancer and you were unemployed because of furlough, then obviously you were getting those $600, which only lasted three months. And in case some of you doing are not even partly aware, I mean, right now the caveat with that, and it's that if you were having less than $100 of unemployment in a weekly basis, you're not even getting those $300 that the executive order was signed by the President Trump. That's right, you're not even getting that, okay? And I know so because I have friends that that's exactly, unfortunately, that fell on that, um, restriction that the president signed off for it. That's right. So here you are, somebody making less than $100 per state in your unemployment, but yet they're telling you that you cannot get the FEMA additional money of $300, all right, because, oh, you're making less than $300. You don't deserve it. Really? I mean, what do you think that that's the person needs it the most? Wow. Anyhow, <laughs> so here is what Canada and Australia has done to help their people, because that's how you help the citizens. That's how you really sustain them and you give them support financially. That way they can still continue to pay their rent or pay their mortgages, put food on, on, on their place. And not only that, how it's sufficient to be able to at least survive in the hardest time that we live in across the globe, right? Canada, what? Are you serious? Canada is offering two thousand dollars per month what that's right you heard me right two thousand dollars per month okay since the epidemic started they've been getting two thousand they didn't get to a hundred only once they get it every single month okay now on top of that you got also australia australia is offering actually one thousand dollars that's right but it's still one thousand dollars okay every single month Again, I repeat myself, not only once that the U.S. gave us just a little check of $1,200. And then on top of that, we have, which I'm not going to forget, is France. France, this was the most recent update that I wanted to add into this episode, is that France is giving up to 84% also from the gross salary to anyone who got furloughed to because of COVID. 84%. And guess what? Just recently, another article that I came through, I'm gonna share this really quick here on my screen, but you don't even have to watch it. Um, I mean, I couldn't believe this when I saw this. Because there's been so much increase of the, you know, the coronavirus, unfortunately, as we know, Europe was one of the hardest countries besides the US. Um, but they have actually, and I was like, wow, this is really amazing when a country really steps up to help the true citizens, uh, not a lousy $1,200. Come on, seriously, yeah, come on, what's going on in this country? Anyhow, I'm um, trying here to share, but yeah, they actually have been able to um, provide, and I'm gonna go right over here, and here is, if you wanna look at the screen, this is great, but actually they, I, w I was like really, really um, impressed. I have to say I'm impressed with what France has done because it's right here. They, France has extended their furlough until next summer. What? <laughs> next summer? Okay. The French government will continue paying up to 84% of salaries for furlough workers until next summer due to the prolonged economic fallout from the coronavirus pandemic. What? I mean, France has already spent tens of billions of euros, okay, on the temporary unemployment scheme since the start of the corona pandemic. And now, as of last week, they just said, hey, we still need to help our people here, you know? 
uh, let's go ahead and uh, put another 100 billion euros and uh, we can extend it until next summer because people cannot go out there. And as it is, some people have got very sick in France. I mean, there was an, a, a big increase, actually. I think they went up by, they had more than 85, almost 85 new cases uh, just recently. So their numbers are increasing, same as us. But yet here we have all these other countries providing much higher help, right? And not only on, uh, you know, the stimulus checks that they have, like Canada and Austria that I just mentioned a little earlier, but on top of that, they're providing people with more steady unemployment checks up to a percentage, which is extremely high compared to what we're offering here again back in the U.S., which is just, a, you know, a flat rate. So, yeah, some of you might be getting $300. And like I said, I know others of you are not even getting that. That's right. Uh, I mean, there's only been an extension. There used to be three weeks that they were going to provide the $300. They just added one extra week, and that's it. I mean, by, by, by the time we reach the month of October, I mean, you know, the FEMA uh, reserve funds, it's going to be exhausted. So what are we going to do then? What are we going to do? Are we going to wait for the election? I mean, I, you know, I, I'm just like really concerned and worried with what's going on here. And the fact is when I see and I can compare, you know, all these people, you know, getting this kind of monies, and, and we're not, we, you know what, it, it's just what shocks me is to see that, you know, again, the government stepping up, and I'm not saying they haven't done a good job, they definitely have, but I think we could do a lot better, that's my point, you know, and I'm not here to convince any, anyone, right, but the point is that I, I think that everybody's seeking the truth, and when I come across this information, I just want to share it with all my audience out there, because this is the reality, this is what's happening right now, and while many of you might still be working, and great, I'm happy for all of you, uh, we still have close to 30 million people still on them. Employed. That's right. Just here in the United States. Um, and guess what? Those people are having a very hard time because one of the things I've been hearing from people who are you know, employed, uh, you know, they tell the unemployed, hey, you know, you don't want to find a job, you know, you don't want to work. Well, guess what, people? I mean, th there's less jobs out there. And on top of that, some of them paying even less money because they know it's offering demand. They know they have a bunch of people who are looking for jobs, so now they want to pay you less, even though they used to pay more up to six months ago. So I'm getting a lot of that feedback from many of the people that I know, and it's just extremely sad to see what's going, you know? So anyhow, um, I just wanted to right away, you know, kind of share this information with all of you, and um, by all means, I really hope we do something better uh, for this country. Uh, we definitely need the help. Uh, there's a lot of desperate, uh, you know, necessity, uh, and we just can't continue like this. I mean, we really need to take a big breath. I mean, we need to have really a more steady support until hopefully things can get better for all of us, you know? Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm sure most of you, you want to be working. You want to have a much higher salary. Uh, you know, you want to have your benefits. So um, I, I don't like, like I said, sometimes when, when I see people, you know, criticizing others who are unemployed because I know you're going through a really hard time and nobody wants to be in that position. I think that all of us, uh, you know, everyone out there prefers to have their full-time job, you know, making their, their steady salary and their benefits than instead of, you know, getting a minimal payment and barely doing ends meet. So anyhow, if you think differently, the good and the bad, you're more welcome to share your comments as usually as I always say. And if you found any value, uh, you know, from this value, please share, like, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm always trying to put at least once a week uh, more steady, um, you know, videos out there. And um, and by the way, I do have a podcast. So if you don't have time, you're driving around, you're at the gym, whatever it is that you're doing, uh, definitely you can always listen uh, to the podcast. I'm going to leave uh, a link on my description and also a link with this um, update from France extending uh, their um, unemployment <laughs> Uh, for furlough, uh, you know, people uh, into next summer. Unbelievable. Uh, I hope maybe, you know, the United States can learn something from other countries. Would you agree? Um, we need the help that we can. And, um, and and I hope so, by all means, because I feel at this point, like I said, that we need all the help we can get. All right. So anyhow, I hope you stay safe.